So in this video, I'm going to give you my full review of the WeConnect software and just some of my overall impressions of it. So the WeConnect software is an automated tool that helps you to uh, automate the process of connecting LinkedIn uh, uh, people to your profile and automate messaging people. Uh, this is really great if you're in sales and you want to be able to mass connect with a bunch of people, find the people that are relevant to your industry and then kind of start having communications with them. So that's basically the goal of the tool. Uh, there's a few problems that I, things that I don't like with it. So I'm actually gonna be moving off of the platform. I'll tell you why a little bit later, or what's my reasoning for doing that. But what I wanna do is I wanna just give you sort of a, my overall impression of the tool. And then from there, I'll give you a little bit more tips on some of the challenges that I found with it and what to look for in an actual software tool that could help you with this process. So I'm actually gonna be moving to another tool. I'll tell you about that a little bit later on as well too. So with that, let's uh, jump right into it. So this is their website. It, I mean, it's it's a pretty good software. I don't know how long they've been around. The pricing is, you know, 49 bucks a month. So I, I went with it because it was one of the cheaper options. I'm, you know, on a budget here, I'm trying to do automated tools and I got lots of tools going on. So any single way where I could find a discount on a tool, that, that would be great. And I did give it a, a fair run. So I wanna be clear, it's not a bad tool, okay? It actually has um, a fairly okay interface, but th there's some nuance with it that I just don't like. So the first thing is you can come in here, you could see right off the top, you know, how many outreach was done, how many people have accepted, many people message etc so I I don't know what the difference between this is, I guess this is what the difference between this bar here and this bar I actually don't know and I don't know what the difference is between this bar and this bar it, it, that's that's one slightly little confusing thing about it I don't know if they're campaigns they might be campaigns so for every set of campaign that I have I have a different set of bars maybe but it's not very clear from the diagram. So that's number one. Um, I have though, so I made 235 invitations, but I think I only have gotten like, yeah, it's a little hard. I think it's like six or something. It, 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 it's a very low number. However, let's talk about the things that are okay with the tool. So first of all, you got campaigns here. This screen here actually gives you some information. I just wish you could drill into it. So first of all, it gives you the contacts, it gives you the process, it gives you the connected, it gives you the reply, how many posts you liked. So these are people that I reached out to and kind of liked their posts, hoping that they could see some engagement and then allow me to, um, once I liked their posts, they were more likely to accept my connection request and visit it, right? So these are the people that I visited, 61 profile. So, it's doing a fairly okay job. I could pause the campaign and I could return to campaign. The problem that I have is like, I'm interested in the people that connected with me. So can I click on that? No, I can't. So there's no way for me to do that. I have to go into the campaign and from there I have to see, so I got recent activities, which is fantastic, but I have no way of seeing, okay, where are the people that connected with me on this specific campaign? So that's my problem with this tool. Right, it doesn't give me enough depth into what I'm looking at. So now I have to go and there's a notification and in the notification, see here, it'll suggest that this person, um, I don't know if it's, let me see if it, let me see if I could find one. So if I go to notifications, it'll show me the people basically that accepted or did something with my profile, but what I'm looking for is a way to filter on that. So here I could do a search, right? So by search, I mean I could go put in a LinkedIn, pro, um, a navigate, sales navigation URL, and this is how it knows how to go find the people that I'm looking for. So those are great, but my reports, let's try that. Yeah, campaign name, selected profile, Dwayne Brown, campaign, HVAC Florida, that's it. That's that's all you get. So th that's the problem with this tool is that it just doesn't give you enough information so that you could start properly filtering. Now we put everybody in your in your inbox, so all messages, right? 
but I want to see people from a campaign. Okay, sure. There's a filter here. So these are all the people from the campaign. Yeah. I guess this is a way to do it. But, you know, I, I want to be able to slice and dice the data. Also, I want to be able to not to remove from sequence very quickly. Because in, in, for example, in this particular case, I'm looking for HVAC guys and somehow this guy came up in the profile. So he's not an HVAC guy. This is a financial financial guy and I just connected with him and now he's asking me questions about how did I find his profile. I was like, well, I use an automation tool or something, you know. So, so I have to have the awkward conversation. Well, I want, you know, it's not me. No, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the point is, like, it it's just it just does not do a good job enough to allow you to dive into the details, to to kind of see much of the uh, uh, profile. So I'm so I'm reevaluating other tools altogether. Uh, this is not it. It it has some interesting features, basic, right? But it's it's just not in depth for the stuff that I'm looking for, right? And um, and then what I don't like about it is the fact that managing multiple, if I wanna add multiple, so I have employees and I'd like to add them underneath this tool in order to be able to manage their profiles as well. It, it I think it's like 50 bucks per user or something like that. It's, it's just, it's, it's not cost effective at all. So with that, that's yeah that's that's my thought process on this now I am looking at another tool and the next tool that I'm actually about to to kind of pick up here is this one called sky leads so they're a pretty interesting platform because it seems like you can do more on the outreach you could do customized banners and stuff so I'm actually gonna switch to this tool in my next update I'm gonna give you guys an update specifically on this one here I'll tell you my feedback and tell you my impact and then whether it's working or not for the things that I'm trying to do uh, with the tool. But uh, yeah, all in all, I would say we connect if you're just trying to just, just do some basic outreach at the price point, it's okay. However, um, if you're trying to do a little bit more advanced where you're trying to segment and expand, uh, for example, I want to be able to filter the people that didn't connect, do an outreach to them, or there's this other stuff that I want to do. There's an API connection that I'd like to make and this tool just doesn't give me some of those capabilities. It's just a little bit too basic from that part. So I will be checking out Sky Leads. I'll give you my update on that. Thank you for your time. Uh, if you wanna know more random videos about software tools that I'm using to help improve my own personal life and my business, then subscribe to the channel, please. Thank you.